does the United States contain Russia when Putin recently states, you don't mess with us, we have nuclear weapons. And if you just look at their aggression, uh, they don't know, there's no reverse for them. They just keep moving forward. How does the U.S. contain Russia? I, I think Russia will end up containing itself. Uh, and, and I say that for a very simple reason. I don't think they want to risk a conventional war, a nuclear war, any of that kind of thing. I think you'll hear some sword rattling, that kind of stuff diplomatically. But I, I think that uh, Russia is uh, a kleptocracy. Uh, there's no question it still is. The real Russia is not the Kremlin. The real Russia is Mother Russia. It's the Russia of Tolstoy. It is the Ronina. It is the countryside. It's the people. It's the potatoes. It's all of that. And that's the real Russia. When you talk about Putin's uh, energizing, trying to get back his old confederacy of the countries that left the, uh, the uh, Soviet Union, uh, he's not doing very well because people don't want to do that. It's an authoritarian effort. Now, it's true in the Crimea. They have a very heavily Russian population. Uh, understand that. Uh, I can see where lines have been drawn by what I shall say colonial powers, where they got in the wrong place on the map. Places like Kashmir and a lot of places in Africa and a couple of places in the Middle East. Actually, it's quite a lot of places where they got the map wrong. And that's where most of the trouble comes from these things. And I've often said the United States gets put in a position of having to sweep up after the colonial powers. And if you think about it, that's what we're doing. We're sweeping up after colonial powers everywhere. Um, I think that the, uh, the Russian problem will self-contain itself. Uh, I think that there will be adjustments as we go along. I do not, I do not see a global conquest coming out of the Kremlin.